Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking some skillet potatoes. So let's begin. Well, for today's recipe, I've already got my potatoes here and I've cut them up into bite-sized pieces. So I'm just going to take the water out of here and add them to my pot. Right, so I'll put them there on the stove. I'll turn it up on full whack and I want them to be cooked al dente so neither soft neither hard so every now and then I'll do a prick test to see what they like right so once the potatoes are done I'll just give them a quick stab chip so that you see yeah they're al dente they're between hard and soft more on the hard side which is how I wanted them to be. So I'll turn this off. The thing is, if they're too soft, once you start frying them and turning them over, they'll just disintegrate. So let's get rid of this water. Okay, so the water's been taken out. It's a big bright light there, I don't know why. So we'll move on to the next step. Ouch. Right, so the next step will be large frying pan. We'll turn this heat up. Come on. I'll turn it up to full whack. And I'm just going to add, I'm just going to cover the base with olive oil. As you can see. I will just wait for this to heat up. You know what? Let me tell you a secret. I've never made this recipe before in my life. But if you're watching it, it's because it came out really good. So, once the oil is hot, or hot-ish, what I'll do is add the potatoes in. It doesn't matter if it's not boiling hot, you know, and sizzling. I prefer it this way, that way it doesn't splash too much, you know. It saves me up on cleaning later. Well, they're starting to fry already. And this recipe is ideal with fried eggs, of course. And to make it even better, with a chorizo as well. Right, so I've got the potatoes in, and next I'm going to add some salt. I normally salt them when I boil when I boil them, but as I've never done this before, I'm going to try it this way. It's always good to try new things, isn't it? If you cock it up, well, you don't do it again. And I'm going to add some black pepper or coloured pepper in this case let's grind this a bit thicker or I'll be here all day right so the pepper's done salt is done and now I'll give it a good sprinkle of um, paprika, sweet paprika in this case. Hot paprika would be excellent too. But you know that I can't use hot paprika, don't you? I'll get told off. So these, we're going to fry them there and move them about every few minutes until they're nice and crispy. Right. So I've got to give them the first famous move about. They're starting to really nice and toast, aren't they? Lovely jubbly. And I'll just leave them there. But this time I'm going to turn it back down to number seven.
Okay, so these are nice and crispy all round. Hey, I just made roast potatoes without an oven. Awesome. So what I want to do is have a stab check. Oh yes, lovely and crisp, lovely and soft inside, and crispy on the outside. Right. So let's turn this stove off, and I've got my dish here with a paper towel, and I'm just going to dish them out, put them on there. I better change the spoon. That's better. Lovely jubbly, the oil has turned a slightly orangey colour, which is perfect for my fried eggs later. Now you know why I get an orangey red colour on my oil when, when you see me use it. It's because of the paprika and a lot of times the chorizo. So let's sort these out. Well, here you go. Some delicious roast potatoes without an oven. Um, I mean, skillet potatoes. And all we need now to do, before frying the eggs, is push it up a bit with some finely chopped parsley from my garden. And here's today's side dish. Some lovely delicious skillet potatoes or frying pan potatoes I think skillets they use it in America don't they let me know anyway thank you very much for watching and goodbye